Well, hello, friends. Coach Bob with you today. And today, if it looks like we are in a new environment, we are in a new environment. Well, maybe not new, but, but certainly a different one. We are over at Killer Ken's house. Yes, Kenny, my buddy. Uh, we got a couple of new helmets. He got the Climb Cryos, and I got the Arai XD4. Now, he's unboxed his. I haven't unboxed mine. He's put his visor on, his little fancy transition lens and all that stuff on that thing. It's super cool. The XD4 is a little more long in the tooth as far as the design, but it's a solid helmet, and I've wanted to get that helmet for a long, long time. So let's unbox this thing, see what it's all about, and while we're doing it, we might as well install a couple of communication kits on there. Well, you know I'm a Cardo fan, so we're gonna be putting the Cardo Pack Talk Bold in both of those helmets. Will we be able to use the clip? I guess we'll find out here in a few minutes. If not, we'll be using the sticky system, but let's get on it. We got some helmets to unbox and show you what they're all about. I'm filming, he's a filming machine. What kind of machine is he? A filming machine. <laughs> he's a filming, filming, filming. He's a filming machine, oh yeah, baby. So there is the beautiful Klein Kryos. You know, Kryos in German means cry because it's expensive. That is a good looking helmet. He's got his pen lock installed on this nice little transition lens that gets darker when he rides. Very, very cool. Does the Arai come with that? Oh no, do you pay as much? Oh yes, it's ridiculous. <laughs> the back well, of it looks do sharp. You, do you get the really cool graph? Yeah. When do you want to get an unbox that oh, thing so what? I can see? It. We're going to unbox it right now. Let's put that baby right there. All right, so there's the climb. Now let's get the Arai out. I have not pulled this thing out yet. I mean, you know, what's the point in me getting this thing opened up? If, you know, if you don't get to see the difference. Let's do that. All right. You know, and just remember, these boxes right here, very fragile. No, that's it. You pay a lot of money just for a bag and a helmet. You want milk? Oh, heck yeah. You want honey? honey? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. So there they are in all their splendor. Ooh, there's your extra $200. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you pay. Boy, I think some. it's worth it. That, that is looks a cool good, looking. For some reason, I thought it was going to be glossy. The one I looked at, I thought was glossy. This is a, a really cool. See, they don't really show you this. Uh, this not even semi-gloss, but just like a flat camo, which the camo is awesome. Kind of cool. It's, Got the little, it's 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 little trees. trees. Yeah, it's not like your. I think these are pops of reflectivity right here. Let's find out. Yeah. <laughs> There's a little flicker of light in there, I think. Maybe, kind of, sort of. Can't tell who's this made by? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's... Now, and if you could, didn't, weren't seeing it from the front... Now, this right here, this is the big complaint that everybody has because you have to use a screwdriver to take it apart. You can't just... Like yours has a thumb screw setting. Everything has to be done with a tool on this one, which is okay because Coach Vic tells me I'm a tool. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say because you have a tool for the job. <laughs> See, I changed this yesterday and it was. You just flick that down, comes off. Kind of tight peasy. though. It's, it's, it's snug, which is probably good. Yeah. All right, so the first thing you got to do, of course, if you're going to put in your comm system, you got to take the cheek pads out. It's always disconcerting whenever uh -huh. you, you know, are taking a helmet apart that you pay a lot of money for. Um, but basically, all I did was take my hand, put it in here behind the front and the back of the cheek pad and pull out, and it snapped out. Hopefully, it didn't break out, right? Get this off here. Get, get that right there. Real man always carries a knife, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. And a flashlight. There you go. That pad comes right out. Other side should come right out as well. All right. I'm looking to see. This thing has ear holes. No, it does not, of course. That would make it way too freaking easy. Yeah. Mine appears to have ear holes. It's not. Um, Yours has that really cool 
Yeah. The thing on the side. Yeah. <laughs> now to see how to get this top liner out. Oh, this is so easy on mine. Oh, look, Velcro and two snaps. There's a snap. So one, two snaps in the back, two snaps in the front. So you just have little snaps. What I'm gonna have to do is look and see with this thing in here where I want to place that, that ear piece. It doesn't really have an ear cavity that like my on-road helmets seem to come with. So I wanna see where the best placement's gonna be. Complication number one when installing a communication system in an Arai XD4 Adventure helmet is where are you going to put the ear pieces, the, 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 your little speakers, all right? Now, anyone who comes from the street background, they realize that there are cutouts in your helmet designed for these speakers and they just pop right in there and it is not a problem. However, this helmet doesn't have that. It's very clean inside and all that, but it's just, um, there's nowhere to put them. So, what do you do? Well, what I am going to do, here's your cheek pad. Your cheek pad has a small notch right there where your ear would be. And I am going to mount the speaker. I'm gonna take this cover, flip it to the front, take the speaker, and it is going to go right there. Now, even with just this little vel rough Velcro, it seems to have enough purchase on that foam and it's going to have this cover in front of it. So I believe that's gonna hold it just fine. This, this is the left side. So the left side is where our comm unit is going to be. So let me grab the comm unit itself. So anyone who's done this, you know that this boom mic, I'm gonna do away with it because I'm gonna be attaching the small, speed, the small microphone inside the chin bar. So you've got two mounting methods. You've got this, which is just the clip, which can clip onto the side of the helmet like that, or you can utilize the tape method, which tapes onto the side of your helmet like that. I am going to try the clip method. I prefer clipping it on the helmet as opposed to sticking it to the helmet. If I can't get it around this edge and in there, then I'll have to use the other method. But I think this is gonna be fine. It looks like oh, that clipped right on, not a problem. Boom. All right. So it clipped right on the XD4, no problem at all. In fact, way too easy. It kind of scares me when things start out that, that well. That means it's probably not gonna go well later. So this is the left side. Now you can see you have two speakers, one speaker. The left side of your helmet, you've got two speakers and they plug into your cardo unit here. The one with the short cable obviously would go to the close side of the helmet and the one with the longer cable would obviously go to the other side of the helmet like that. And then these wires will just be tucked under this cushion here. Very simple. So again, I'm not gonna make this complicated. I'm not gonna fret over things. I'm just gonna simply tuck this first speaker in and right here. I have a question. Uh, yes, sir. Do you care what is right or left? Because it's in stereo, or does it yes, matter? Yes, because the short one will only reach to this side. But okay. how do you know that this is the correct side for this? It's on the left side. And that's what it says? Put it on the left side? Well, that's that way your hand can be on the throttle when you're doing stuff. Makes sense. See? <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness you're here. Yeah. Otherwise, that... I'd be doing this. Yeah. <laughs> that actually holds in there really well. So I'm gonna go with that. You know, there's that thing where you try to reinvent the wheel or worry and I just go, you know what? That looks pretty good. I'll know when I get it assembled, if it sounds good or if it sucks. The thing with the Arai, because the way everything is integrated together, this is what I have. I have the left and the right. And then there's the plug. And then this kind of has to go in all at the same time which may be a little cantankerous, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take me a sip of coffee. <laughs> any, mo any emotional preparation <laughs> for any cussing that I might do. Not that I would ever, ever. Now I know what you're saying. You're saying, Coach Bob, you're, you're, you're maneuvering things inside the helmet and you don't have a camera and I can't see it. It really doesn't matter because all I'm doing is dropping the wires behind 
the liner. There is no magical formula to that. There, there's, there's nothing difficult about it. It just has to be done. All right, so it went in exactly as I described it. There is right there, that is the speaker behind that little cutout that's in the cheek pad. It's on the cheek pad itself behind the material. Same thing on the other side. The clip for the Cardo Pack Talk Bold slid right on there. This is for my microphone. I'm going to be using not the boom microphone. I'm going to be using this little microphone, which is the one that I use in all of my full face helmets, where this, just to give you an idea, here it is untangled. You have a Velcro piece and your microphone. And this Velcro piece simply attaches inside the chin bar and this plugs in right there. That's it. Pull this stupid sticker off of here. Stupid sticker. So then you're saying once you get that done, you just you just tuck this wire underneath the lid yeah, here. You, yeah, you just kind of make it as, as unsightly as you can. And see, I really prefer the method that we use to mount that thing with clipping it over the side. Yeah. I, I've got a ton of those little sticky things and I've never used them. I just don't want to just to, I just never have wanted to. I've always wanted to be able to. I'm just wondering that, you know, sometimes depending on how sticky that stuff really is and with the glue, right? if it gets super cold or super hot or you hit it, it just yanks it right off right. of there. Yep. Like I had one stuck to a surfboard once and a wave came along and just yanked it. Swept it right off. Just, luckily I had it attached. A safety, a little safety thing, but it yanked it right off the board. Well, I'll tell you, you look at the face of that camera and you'll say, wow, why didn't you use a safety tether on that camera? <laughs> <laughs> it ended up in the middle of the highway <laughs> last week. Oh, dude. How it did not get run over by the car behind me, I have no freaking clue. Turn around, going back, I'm like, please be in one piece. That looks good, man. That looks great. Well, I'm, I just want to make sure it's going to stay. No, it's, it's not. Stay. Well, here, it's hang on. Let me look at it. Stay. Stay. Okay. stay. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. <laughs> and in the middle of all this, I'm making chili. You know, I, I, when I walked in, I go, what is that in the crock pot? I'm like, that looks like chili. It is chili. <laughs> so, you know, you can multitask. You can connect your mic in your helmet and cook chili at the same All time. All at the same time. I'm cleaning my oven. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that commercial. <laughs> sitting in the tub, what she said. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, now we'll play Boston and see what it sounds like. Well, great. I don't, again, I'm not. I'm not I don't, okay. We have to connect mine. All right, now that's working. I think I remember doing it. Did it? Too. There you go. We should be able to we talk have to each other, right? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So let's make sure that's working, and then we'll then we'll connect your phone. I can't see you. Okay, I'm turned you, on now. You got a decal in front of your head. Yep. We're working again. Yeah, we are. Nice. I hear an echo. Echo. So, echo. And guess it what? Look like it's, it's not pen -lock. pen lock ready. Mine was pen lock ready. See. see? Not only was mine pen lock ready, but my clear shield, this is my transition shield, right. is pen lock ready. See but this. Also my clear shield, like, which I got, was pen lock ready. Sure as cool as all. <laughs> okay, so the uh, install went as planned. Microphone simply stippy, sticky glued there. There's the cable running back to it. You know you left your phone here? And simply just put in. So the Arai XD4, what does it sound like? It's 70 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour. Well, I don't know, but I'm gonna find out real soon and you'll know what I know. So stand by for that. You gonna do the full review on the helmet? And Ken's climb. Now I'm gonna tell you the first thing I noticed when picking this helmet up, you can feel the weight difference. This helmet is much lighter. It is advertised as much lighter but you don't expect it to be so radical that when you hold it in your hand, that you actually feel the difference. So this is a very, very light helmet. His install went perfectly, uh -huh. just just like a wow. And that's eight ounces or nine ounces lighter than the Shoei. It's 
say I haven't been picking anything up other than that for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this thing looks that's great. That's why you pay more money again. I yeah. can't forget. You, you buy helmets per pack. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got your money's worth. I did. <laughs> This thing looks really good inside. I'm gonna tell you this helmet is going to be quieter on the road. I can tell already looking at the chin curtain and the construction of it, it is going to be quieter on the road. I would, I would anticipate that. I guess I could be wrong. That is a massive airflow vent in the front, which looks really, really nice. So I do look forward. We're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison. These two helmets are very, very popular in the adventure world. The Arai is kind of the state-of-the-art old helmet, but really isn't state-of-the-art anymore. Um, you're buying a ride, that's what you're buying. Climb is more cutting edge, it's carbon fiber, bigger vents, um, bigger bigger chin curtain. The, the lens is far superior with the transition and the pin lock, that is absolutely superior to just a vented curved shield. It's but there you have it. So brush stuff on the inside too. Yes, yes. And this one has that, that, that crush technology, the little, looks almost like a honeycomb in there. So this is very similar to the technology that's inside the climb helmet. You can, this is a bicycle helmet. You see each of these little honeycombs. And so when you fall, it crushes in, in very small zones and it takes, it's supposed to spread that impact out. It looks really, really good. It's super duper duper light. And it's, it's vented, it's got vents in the back for airflow. His installation, he did it right here with, with me. Um, his speakers mounted on the outside of his cheek pad, as opposed to a cover over the cheek pad, mounted exactly the same way as the Arai X-T4. So both of these helmets, the Cardo Pack Talk bulb will work on them. Um, there are other comm systems out there, use what you want. I'm a big Cardo fanboy, as anyone who's watched this channel for a while knows. Phenomenal helmet, phenomenal helmet. We're gonna get some real time reviews in on these things though, and we'll be doing some serious riding on them with, with these things on, so. Um, and again, when I'm holding these helmets, I can feel a difference. It's one thing to put something on a scale and go, okay, this one's so many grams lighter, which 200 grams, that's 200 paper clips, okay? It's not much. When you start talking about half a pound, that's a lot of weight. This helmet, the Arai, honestly, with me, I was going to get the Shoei or the Arai. Uh, I opted for the Arai um, just due to its reputation. On the, on the dirt and uh, due to the shape uh, when you fall. Can you go wrong with either one of these helmets? I don't believe you can, but we're gonna get some, again, we're gonna get some real life experience rides with these things. And uh, so stick around, you're definitely gonna, gonna, gonna get to know these helmets a lot better.